is Nobunita and in today's video, I will walk you through some of the fundamentals of Zoho CRM, lead, account, contact and deal. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on Zoho suit of applications. Let's begin. Depending on the industry you are operating in, you can have two business scenarios, B2B, meaning you as a business are offering your products and services to another business and B2C where you are offering your products and services to individual customers. For a B2B scenario, your standard business process looks somewhat like this. You get inquiries from different channels such as telephone call and email, your website contact form, a referral, etc. Now once you get these inquiries, the first thing you do is to qualify them. Most businesses qualify an inquiry on basis of fitment, whether your offering matches the requirement, budget, that is, whether they have the budget to purchase your product or services, authority, whether the person getting in touch has the authority to make the decision, and urgency, how soon they are looking at making the decision. Depending on these factors, you would either take the lead forward in the sales cycle or decide to nurture it further. Hopefully, your qualifying criteria would be met and you would be able to take the lead further in the sales cycle. When that happens, you would convert the lead into three entities, that is an account, the business house the inquiry is for, a contact, the person coordinating on behalf of that business house, and a deal, the sales opportunity generated by that inquiry. Now the deal will go through different stages such as interested, quote sent, quote accepted, and finally closed one, at which point you would have closed the deal and acquired a new customer. In case the quote is not accepted, you could go back and send a modified quote or mark it as close lost. For a B2C scenario, the process is almost similar. Here, once you get an inquiry and qualify the same based on the criteria, you convert the lead into two entities, that is contact and deal. As you are not dealing with a business house here, account is not needed. Just like the B2B scenario, here also the deal will go through different stages and finally be closed won or closed lost. Now let's see how you can map these steps within Zoho CRM. Within Zoho CRM, you have got different modules to house your leads, account, contact and deals. If I get into the lead module here, I have got a B2B lead as John Doe. John Doe made a phone call to us and inquired about our social media marketing services. He represents a company named Excellence Business Solutions and we have got all the details like industry, contact details and description of his inquiry here. Once you are ready to take the lead forward in the sales cycle, you can convert the lead with just one click and it creates an account and a contact. At this stage, you can choose to create a deal for this account here. Once you create the deal, you can name it for better identification. Let's name it Social Media Marketing for Excellence Business Solutions. You can mention the deal stage here and you can mention a closing date and expected deal amount here. Once you do this, you can see there are three entities, an account, a contact tag to this account and a deal for this account. Now if I get into the account here, I can see all details relevant to the company has been carried forward and I have a contact and a deal tag to this account. Now going forward, if you get in touch with someone from the same company, you can simply add a new contact here. You can add the name, contact details and mention who is the person he or she is reporting to. This reporting to field lets us create the hierarchy view within the company. This way, you can have a clear idea about the authority and the influence of different contacts within the prospect company. Now, if I go into the deal tag to my account here, I can see all relevant details of this deal. The present stage of the deal is clearly visible here. And as you move further in the sales cycle, you can update the stages and the system updates the probability of closure automatically. In the related list here, you can see all relevant details such as the contact handling the deal, any notes that you might have taken, and any attachment you might have for this deal, etc. And if you integrate your email account with your Zoho CRM, you would be able to see all emails related to this deal in here as well. Simple, right? For a B2C scenario, the process remains exactly the same, with only one exception. You do not have an account here. So if you are operating in a B2C market, 
then you need to make this account field non-mandatory from setup and then leave the company name empty. Everything else remains exactly the same. In my lead module, I have a B2C lead here, Jane Doe. Jane got in touch with us for building our website. We have all her details listed here and once we convert this lead, we will create a contact and a deal for Jane. Except for creating an account, everything else remains the same here. Now if I go into the contact for Jane, I can see the deal tagged to her. And if I get into the deal, I can see the deal stages to take this forward in the sales cycle. I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more such videos in the coming weeks.